Discord. Opening every pack till we get bored. Every round we add cards to the ban list. Till Simo sends us a cease and desist. Wow. It's been a long time since I uploaded something that wasn't Dragoon Fest 2020, but I'm happy to announce that I am back. Yes, everybody, it is time for another episode of Progression Playoffs. Today we are opening Power of the Duelist, a fantastic set that... <sighs> changes everything. Far for Yu-Gi-Oh! Only you can see this portion of the video. Cease your attempts to discover the secret of Aelister the Invoker immediately! So as always, I'll give you a little bit of a discussion about what's included in this set and what the rarities mean for those of us playing Limited. So there is some legacy support in this set, first and foremost. There's Destiny Heroes, there's Roids. I don't know how much of those are going to matter. More importantly, there's three archetypes in this pack. There's Neospatians, Dinosaurs, and Aliens. Neospatians will not be making a splash. Elemental Hero Neos is a common, but things like Aqua Dolphin are supers, and the fusions are very hard to pull. Moreover, they go back to the extra deck at the end of the turn they're summoned, so there's not even a really good payoff for summoning them in the first place. It's unlikely they're going to make an appearance. Dinosaurs are another story. Sabersaurus is a 4-star monster with 1900 attack, which eclipses anything we have so far. It's also a common, so everyone's going to have it. And finally... Aliens are kind of hit or miss. I can't actually tell if they're good or not. A couple of problems with this archetype that I'll get into more specifically when we go through the individual cards, but keep in mind for the time being, if we pull the cards necessary to play Alien, I will try to force it. So let's go through the individual cards. We've got Neos, we've got Saberceratosaurus, we've got some bad Neospatians, all at super rare. The Chrysalises, which summon the Neospatians, but are terrible, terrible monsters in their own right. Rallus the Starbird is maybe if funny. Uh... <laughs> Submarine Roid, Ambulance Roid, Decoid Roid, and Rescue Roid are the new Roids. Decoy Roid sets up a lock like Watts would, but I don't think it's worth playing. There's not a lot of cards that summon Roids from the deck. The new Destiny Heroes aren't super impactful, with one exception, Defender. Defender is going to be meta-defining. It's going to be very difficult to remove, 2700 is a heck of a number, and likely will be banned after this episode. Other than that, we've got some uh, constructed all-stars like Dasher that just aren't good enough at limited play. Black Stego is a pretty interesting card. It sits in defense position and is also sort of a win condition. Uh, we've got Ultimate Tyranno at Super Rare. It's pretty good. It gets over Defender as well as every other monster. You see stuff like Baby Sarasaurus and get excited, but uh, keep in mind these are only powerful because of peripheral cards like Soul Leaping Over Raptor and the TCG. Here they're not going to be good. Bite Lawn is another copy of Saber Beetle and is fantastic. Alien Gray is the first of our alien monsters. It flips and draws a card, but only if it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Uh, that's not very good, because there's still Dim Fizz in the format, and I imagine people are going to still be playing it. Alien Skull is a 4-star 1600 attack monster, which is pretty good. It is also kind of Lava Golem. It's hard to explain. Alien Hunter has two attacks. Alien Warrior is the best of the alien cards, not only because it has 1800 attack, but also because it distributes A counters and has the important A counter effect. If a monster with an A counter battles an alien monster, it loses 300 attack and defense for each A counter during damage calculation only. This is not an, infect, an effect that is inherent to A counters. It is only applied when a monster with this stipulation is on the field. So... Keeping an alien warrior on the field is kind of paramount if you actually want to play this deck. Alien Mother is Goyo Guardian if it destroys a monster with an A counter and might be a good enough payoff. Cosmic Horror Gongiel can be summoned with one tribute provided you are using a mind-controlled monster and puts A counters on the field via its own effect. Flying Saucer Masuski is not good. Here are the Elemental Hero Neos fusions. They are ultra rare. Khmer Tech Over Dragon will be good if anyone pulls it and already has Cyber Dragons because Future Fusion is in this set. Uh, we've got a bunch of really bad Hero and Neospatian support. Uh, Overload Fusion is, of course, very funny. Future Fusion is in this set. Mausoleum of the Emperor will be also meta defining. During any main phase, the turn player can pay a thousand life points times the number of monsters necessary for a tribute summon, and then perform a normal summon as if they were tributing. This means we're going to be able to play Mausoleum and stack our decks with cards like Bite Lawn that are just absolutely stellar. Now, notably, this can be used by both players. So if both players are on it, there's a pretty high percent chance that it's going to be on the field when you need it to be. Uh, Crop Circles is one of the very few cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! that allows you to fail to find. Uh, Supercharge draws two cards, but under some pretty bad conditions. And... 
Brainwashing Beam is kind of crackdown, but I don't think it's good enough to play. So at the end of the day, what we're looking for in these sets are the rares. The Goyo Guardian Alien, the Alien Warrior, and other than that, pretty much everything else is available at Common and we're sure to see. Let's get opening. All right. I make this solemn vow to you. If I pull three of the Goyo, Alien, and three of Alien Warrior, I will play the deck. With that, 24 packs of Power of the Duelist, starting now. Okay, Saber Sarasaurus is a good card, of course. There's one warrior. We are getting there. Destiny Hero Defender, also very important. Whoa, Dark Neosar Ultra? That is so painful. Okay, Cosmic Horror Gongiel is something. I mean, ah, it sucks that all the alien payoffs are rare. There's pretty much no chance that we're going to pull nine, but we'll see. I say that, and here's Alien Warrior number two. Okay, I mean, this is good, but we really do need the Goyo if we're going to play the deck, and we're already halfway through our packs. We got a play set of Warrior. Ah, uh, it's still not enough, I don't think. Aqua Dolphin. Wow, uh, that's going to be good for Ice Old. Ooh, we opened a Future Fusion. Okay, that's important for later because uh, there's some stuff we can do with this uh, in a couple of episodes. And an Overload. I mean, <laughs> another Gongiel. Man, I mean, we're getting close. I just need some Mothers. Or a Mother. Come on. Nope. All right, sorry, buddy. You're not going to see the alien deck today. There's really no good payoff. Outside of that, we found pretty much everything we want. We got a play set of Saber Sarah Sources, of Defenders, of Mausoleums of the Emperor. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get into deck edit. Uh, more important than the cards that we pulled this time, uh, this is going to be a... Um, an opportunity to remake our deck from last time, which uh, sucked shit. So, let's uh, let's make that happen. All right, we're just going to go for it anyway. Okay, here's the list. It's completely different than the one we were playing last week, and with good reason. Last time we were trying to use DD Survivor, Macrocosmos, and Dimfizz to get our opponents out of the game. This time, I've taken a little bit of a different approach. And that approach includes Cosmic Horror Gongiel. Now, the conventional wisdom surrounding the format is that the best thing you can be doing is playing DD Survivor. And I don't know if that's true anymore. Yes, DD Survivor is really good as a treeborn frog that lets you tribute for very powerful monsters like Saber Beetle, but Mausoleum of the Emperor already allows you to do that, and everyone's going to be playing this card. Moreover, DD Survivor is really good when you can summon it in defense position and protect your life points, but Bitelon and Saber Beetle both have piercing. Anything worth attacking with in this format is going to deal a ton of damage to a DD Survivor in defense. So I figure, why play that game? Instead, we're playing no macro stuff at all, and we're going in on cards that specifically don't work under macro, under the assumption that if only one person is playing it, it's going to be way, way harder to find. As a result, we've got this. A list that has a fair amount of monster removal in Adhesive Explosive and Shattered Axe, a fair amount of powerful beaters in Alien Warrior and Saber Sarasaurus, a fair amount of six stars we aim to cheat out either with Mausoleum of the Emperor or Arrival Appears, and payoffs of Cosmic Horror, Gongiel, and Ancient Gear Golem. We've also slapped in three Destiny Hero Defender to slow the game down to a point where we'll actually be able to summon them. So let's go through the individual cards. We've got Adhesive Explosive. This is Blasphere. If your opponent attacks into it, you get to destroy the monster that attacked it. Alien Warrior is an 1800 beater, and he puts A counters on cards that destroy him. The card that destroys him is always going to be Saber Sarasaurus, a 1900 attack point monster, and... Oh god, I am happy to summon this card. Cyber Dragon, of course, is still in the deck, as is Ant Eater Eating Ant. If we are playing no macros, we can send cards to the graveyard, despite a Dim Fizz on our opponent's side of the field, so this card is going to be really good, I think. We've got three Bite Lawn and three Saber Beetle. This is the same card twice, the exact same card twice. They printed the exact same card right next to itself. We've got two copies of Cosmic Horror Gongiel. This might seem like a lot, but remember, we have Mausoleum of the Emperor and one other card that searches this bad boy. Three Destiny Hero Defender, one Majestic Mech Oko, who I I missed last week, thank you, comments. Ancient Gear Golem, fantastic to summon off of Mausoleum, and Cybernetic Cyclopean, who I keep forgetting to include. We've got three 
Helium 3 Arrival appears. 3 Chthonian Blast. Uh, not so sure about this one, but as long as there's no Dim Fizz, it'll still be good. A Karma Cut, 3 Shattered Axe, and 2 Crop Circles. This allows you to send monsters on your side of the field to the graveyard to summon an alien whose level is equal to the total levels of the sent monsters, and then Special Summon it. We can pretty much never get Gangiel because our stat lines never line up unless we're sending an Adhesive Explosive and a 4 star, but getting an Alien Warrior from the deck is still pretty good in response to like a Karma Cut or a Shatter Dax. So, pretty excited about this list, and I hope that it actually wins. So, what's the what's the what's the problem? <laughs> what's the issue? Come on. Oh, well, I'm gonna live a through long you. Day. <laughs> Without you, my friend. <laughs> and I'm so very happy to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Wow, you motherfucker. You coming back and beating Paper Strat immediately because you know that I always pick Paper? Wow, that's just extremely fun metagaming. Out of the starting gate, wow. Now I remember why I took a hiatus. I really hope that not, you're not playing Alien. <laughs> this deck is... Oh my god, my hand is unbeatable. You're actually toast. Nice. You're actually toast. My hand is actually unbeatable if I draw one specific card, and if I fail I to draw it, I will lose. Leah, please just slam D Fissure and just ruin Joe. I'm gonna ruin oh, you, God. idiot. Oh, that's not good. All right, we're gonna set two, and we're gonna pass the turn. Yes, yeah. there we go. <laughs> it's been. This is not great. <laughs> oh okay this is the best hand leah has ever drawn wow okay i guess i'm just I'm losing like, to this i'm like surprised i remember how to summon a monster <laughs> this isn't very fair i mean decks were losing to this open in 2011 i mean what am i supposed to do to this? <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm gonna activate arrival appears if that's okay, okay. yeah sure. get out alien warrior yes, yes. And then we'll tribute the alien warrior for a saber, saber beetle. Uh, nothing except. Oh, All right, I'll I'm go to fine. combat. I'm going to attack into a saber sarasaurus. Karma cut. All right. <laughs> well, uh, it's been a fun game. Uh, I had a great time. Uh, no I really way. enjoyed. I really enjoyed this no one. I'm happy way. that I was able to come back and uh, you know make such an impact on the meta game. And you know, I, I um, I'm feeling really no good about. Well, I mean, uh, fuck me for trying to have fun, huh? <laughs> fuck me for, uh, you know, I, I'm just working my, my ass off, uh, to pass my classes, load in, get metagamed in rock, paper, scissors, and killed by normal summon Saber Sarasaurus two turns in a row. Really fun. Glad I'm, glad I'm doing this, uh, glad I'm making these videos again and everyone came in to watch them. Uh, really happy. Uh, I, ho I hope you have a good time, Gavin and Brent. I hope you have a better time than I did. Ooh, I'm I'm gonna try as hard as I can. I'm not playing. I am not playing nice. Joe. I am not playing Joe's deck, but I do think I am playing a deck oh. that is as bad. Uh, this All is right. this is pretty similar is to great. the stuff that I'm playing. If I'm being real, better, significantly better opening. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mausoleum of the Emperor, new card from this set. Uh, oh, don't really worry. Good. No, no, no. Don't worry, Leah. I covered the hell out of Mausoleum of the Emperor because I thought okay. I'd be activating it. <laughs> Okay. And, and yet, <laughs> and yet here we are. And here we are. Now, what's cool about Bitelon is that it has piercing, just it's like right. every other so six here's star. Grave Oja. Oh my God! What are you trying? What are you trying? Gavin said, "It's got. I gotta go back to the old me." Oh, <laughs> All right, Karma, karma Cut old. to banish the Bite. All right, one of Brent's three Karma Cuts. Wow, no. we're still we playing we the hero deck. Why are we summoning Clay Man? This is awesome. This I is, can't believe this is it. Exactly what I'm looking for. You know you can play Destiny Hero Defender, right? You don't have to play <laughs> no, Clay no, Man. No. Brent Brent is traumatized from He's testing. He's too pure hearted. He's too pure hearted. Mm -hmm. Brent will never succumb to the to the dark allure of the Destiny heroes. The allure of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I have a pass out of Gavin. I I'm actually shocked that Gavin's Grave Oja oh, deck is not oh accomplishing anything. God. Wow! Uh, the payoff for the hero deck is you get to play MST, and our Righteous Justice uh, is a hell of a card. Uh, pretty good. That seems pretty good. Pretty good. Oh no! There's actually, it's bad. Actually, it's terrible. <laughs> that seems pretty bad. 
All right, let's start it, baby. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, so I'm not trying to say nothing, but uh, you know, I feel like I lost to uh, a really s- unbelievably competent deck. Gavin's about to win by burning out Brent with Guardian Statue Grave Oja. T- take three hundred. You're gonna Brent take three hundred from, from that Grave Oja. Oh jeez. Poor Brent. What what's Brent gonna do without those three hundred life points? Yeah. Well, so what happens? I, I guess I'll ask the question. What happens if you attack the guardian statue? You just, you just lose the game. Gavin's like, I didn't calculate this far ahead. Quiet, quiet. I didn't quiet, think quiet, I'd get this quiet, far. Quiet, 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 quiet. I don't know. Okay. No. Damn. Okay, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um. Force all right, back. we're gonna force back. Sure. Oh my god, it's it's flip tempo. It's Pac-Man with zero floodgates. The Pac-Man with no floodgates. Oh, the good card. It's been a long Oh my god. Jesus Christ. How are you playing this deck? It's so bad. Oh my god, is that lethal? Sometimes you do get forced back. I don't know. No, it's it's lethal. Okay, no, we do have damage it's now. Oh, Thank shoot. God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go. Pitching yeah, his own mausoleum. This is actually the best card that I can do. And um, it's not looking very good. Brenta. Here we go. Oh! No. Wait, that's way. pretty good. What's this? Wait. It's 1700. It's a 1700. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Hilarious. Are you not here trying to summon Neos? <laughs> so if it's like Dimension Wall, I lose, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Dimension Wall doesn't prevent battles, so you would still kill whatever you attack. But for yeah, the it's not Magic game, Cylinder. I'm, I'm talking about the rest of the game. Yeah. Well, if, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you do I mean, if it's Yeah. <laughs> You're playing Spell and Trap Removal, though, unlike everyone else in this form. You actually are. Okay. So, oh, All right. That's... This is a start. Okay. Okay. We would have lost. We definitely would have lost. Okay. All right. Here we go. To victory, he can flip up Maui Interceptor. We will flip up Maui Interceptor. (laughs) That's three whole hundreds. Damn. Uh... <laughs> yeah, my man, my man's holding on. My man, my man, my man. So if that was Dimension Wall, I would have lost, and Correct. he would have played it. So I can assume 100%. that card is not Dimension Wall. Therefore, Spark Man. Yeah, See that's not bad. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Oh! Oh my god. So that good. was very important. Smartest so motherfucker good. on the planet. Okay. Oh my okay. god. Yeah. Correct order. Wow. Wow. Brett's coming back. Double on righteous justice. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Okay. So we could get in for a 600 a turn with the DD survivor returns. Who would have in removal in your deck was this good? Oh, God. It, this is so crusty because if it's ever a defender, we just take three and go to 400. <laughs> <laughs> But we can't let a set card live, right? Because if it's another guardian, we're just dead. <laughs> this well, there's sucks. no way you play that defender. The oh, you definitely play defender. Oh, you're definitely playing it, right? Definitely part of the game plan is to be playing it and like it. it a part of a flip stall. deck, though. I don't know. Maybe I guess uh, it's stall. Oh, I'm I'm shaking. <laughs> uh, um. Oh, I'm nervous. My butthole is clenched. All right. Is it is it so clenched that's as gonna be? Whoa! <laughs> so, Excuse me. Okay, brave. We, brave. we've got. There's no other word for it. He's a brave man. Dummy golem and damage condenser. So damage condenser is going to get a monster with what? sixteen. Sixteen. Woo! For the lost okay. guardian. Are you kidding? I was right. I was right. Gavin was Gavin was jacking himself off about this deck before <laughs> before we played, and I was like, I bet he's thinking about the lost guardian because he said it would Whoa. never be. Wow. What, wait, what's the attack of this monster right now? It's 100. a 20. Oh, okay, never mind. It's a, it's a defense monster. 
Okay. Now, hilariously, the existence of Didi Survivor yeah. means Brent doesn't necessarily need to ever get over this monster to win. This is uh, this is what I was kind of concerned about, and why I didn't end up playing a DD Survivor deck is because uh, it's kind of a liability in scenarios like this, where like you have the game locked up. I wasn't expecting Lost Guardian, but I, I was expecting like a Destiny Hero Defender, and your opponent can still chip at you because it comes back and they have a Piercer. I suppose, True. but I mean. Yeah, I, I I guess theoretically this is like one situation. It doesn't even seem like terrible. Gavin's got a lot of time, but I mean, there's there's what six piercers in the format, and uh, there's only one banish uh, floodgate remaining. What, we what could it be? What could it be? Dummy what golem. It it's gonna be. <laughs> Okay, Ray Hoja. Hoja. Wow, this Lost Guardian is so... Do, are you playing shield and sword, Gavin? Are you playing shield and sword? <laughs> <laughs> Brent, if you come are back you and playing? win this, I mean, there is Rotated no justice cards. in this world. I think I think the opposite. Or the opposite, yeah. There is yeah. justice. We can't really be mad if Gavin loses this one. Okay, we did, got a trade. Say, oh, you should play this deck. <laughs> so Vitalon trades for one, uh, and then the DD Survivor will come back. Not using Mausoleum for that, because why would you? <laughs> <laughs> DD Survivor doing his best Treeborn Frog impression, like basically always. Oh! Oh, what? What? So what? Brent's the only one that oh, can play Future God. Fusion, but uh, I don't think you can actually... Hold up, hold up. Hold up. You can. You can. We, you we can. Need so you can use it. Like you, you can use Poly under the Future Future, so you can use uh, use the Future Fusion. I guess that's because this the uh, activation of the effect uh, precedes the colon, and the effect is sent to the graveyard. So the important difference here is if part of the activation cost would be sending something to the graveyard, you can't do it. But if part of the effect sends something to the graveyard, you try to resolve as much as possible, and that's where we are, I guess. Let me actually pull up the old version of Future Fusion, because a lot of people might be looking at this card I have on screen and wondering why something is occurring on activation. Uh, this card was eroded because it was busted as hell. It used to say, send from your deck to the graveyard fusion material monsters listed on a fusion card and select that fusion monster from your fusion deck. Special summon the selected fusion monster during your second standby phase after this card's activation. Now, this ended up being eroded because, you know, the astute among you have probably realized that's a, a five foolish burials if you select the right fusion <laughs> monster. Uh, it looks like Brent has selected Sparkman plus Clayman, so that's Thunder Giant, which is a, a hell of a boss. So Gavin's got two turns to figure out how to prevent the Thunder Giant from just ending the game. Yeah, because Thunder Giant, actually, his effect is you can discard a card to destroy a monster with less original attack than Thunder Giant on the field, so he actually is an out to Lost Guardian as well. Stupid. Future Fusion summoning an E-Hero? What is this shit? This so is awful. Funny. This is the purpose of Future Fusion! <laughs> oh, wait, what is it? What is it? I lost. You've I lost. taken You take 11 here? Damage. No! No way. <laughs> I'm so mad. This is the wow. this is the stupidest game of all time. <laughs> congratulations, Gavin. Uh, that was the best deck I've ever seen. Yeah, and, uh, that was incredible. And congratulations, Leah, on finals. Uh, that's gonna look really good. All right, before we get into this next one, uh, Gavin, I heard you have something to say to the class. No. I was fucking, I was muted because the phone, the answering machine picked up and it was just, so I'm like, I'm currently, I'm, I'm currently displaced, right? And I'm living like in my grandparents' house. And so the, the, the fucking, the phone is right next to my microphone. And these like, these old people that want to call my grandparents are just insane and talk forever. And so this dude is just rambling on and on. I'm just like, I'm just like, shut the fuck up so I can unmute. <laughs> And so I'm just like making all this commentary and Brent attacks my lost guardian and I'm like, let's go! And and then all of a sudden Leah is like, Gavin, you know you're on mute, right? And I'm oh like, oh my, my god, god, you're kidding me. This motherfucker was robbed of the pop-off by a landline! <laughs> all right, Brent, I'm sorry. Oh. Brent, I'm sure that I'm sure that must hurt, and I understand if you want to take a little bit of time to be silent. But uh, do you have anything you you want to say here? 
Fair enough. <laughs> True. Bren, you have right, to embrace you, the yeah. molding. You will become my student, and together we will reach a level of salt no human has ever achieved. Danny, I just want to say, uh, good luck beating me in rock, paper, scissors. Fuck, Thank that you. was easy. I yeah. needed that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what you get. Uh, you'll notice that she picked rock against Danny. Mm, how interesting. Mm. Watch out, Leah. I've got a dinosaur to pick with you. Oh, there it is. Sure. Danny, are you playing the good deck too? Uh, <laughs> you'll see. Okay. Hopefully. All right. Okay. I I'm playing a. I'd say 80% normal. Okay. Right. Mm, save your source. Oh, well. Cool. Fun. Gameplay. All right, Gameplay. so, Danny, you've got, uh, since you started, you have one Sabersaurus attack on Leah. So if you summon a Sabersaurus, then she trades with her Sabersaurus, then you summon a Sabersaurus, then she trades with her Sabersaurus. <laughs> You're coming out on top every time, baby. True, true. Hoping Danny There's no way she has a second Sabersaurus. Oh, Danny. <laughs> Danny. Oh. Oh, oh, that's yeah. even worse. Oh, oh that's oh, even oh, worse. No. Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Back on. Fun. Back yeah. on my bullshit, Dark World Lightning. Uh, yeah. Okay. That is what Dark World Lightning is in the deck for. <laughs> Uh, so Destiny Hero Defender, anybody want to talk about this? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good card. Hmm. I'd like to see it, you know, do something in, in a set. Okay, I'm guessing that's D Hero Defender, but again, let's attack into it. Take a million. Yeah. <laughs> good! <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. I would sure be mad because it looks a lot like the card that I lost to. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Brent, I see you have I see you have returned from the salt mines, my student. I would be salty after that game too, Brent. We all feel for you. I won that game. It was right there in front of me. Uh, attack. Yeah, no, while while this game that is just mind numbing continues, Brent. Um, I do want to say, I, I think you made the right play. I mean, if it was a, a statue, you were just boned. I, I think you had to go for it. H heated heart. On oh, holy shit. What? Okay, sure. <laughs> All right, it's kind of a combat trick. I thought this was heroes only. Wow, this card's pretty good. It's it, pretty actually, We actually finally have a hot. card in the series that you can use to do something on your turn. It's hot. No, we heard the first okay. time. I'm going to normal summon Oka. Okay. Okay. Yay. Jeez. Wow. Really? Okay. Wow, my hands have been really All right, good Danny, I need you to show me exactly the reborn trap. I'm just going to get tempoed Black out. Stego. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how do I want to do the attacks? Black Stego first. Survivor. Cyber. I take okay. Right, That's something, but uh, Danny, you need a uh, you need something to get back into the game here. All right, it's D Hero Defender, Sabersaurus. Oh boy, you know. Oh, that was very fun. Another fun uh, game. Oh boy, all right. right. Damn, crazy. You're not allowed to be mad. I haven't won in three weeks. Well, we're in finals. Uh, we've got Gavin with this unbelievably cool Banish Lost Guardian deck. Then we've got Leah. She's just playing Dino Rabbit. It's just Dino <laughs> Rabbit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It's got a little cute dinosaur in it. Uh, well, you know. Massive pain. Uh, why do we even try to brew, lads? It's it's just vanilla beef. There's like I, every answer imaginable. Yep. Yeah, my hand was. I, I will just openly admit my hand was pretty gross that it's game. Just like Jesus mm. Christ! Oh, yeah, okay. Three games in a row. Turn right, one saber Sarasaurus. Must be nice. <laughs> Must saber, be nice. That, saber Cernosaurus. Yes. Be I'm saber concerned nice. about this Saurus. To have Saber Saurus on your side. All right. How about Cyber Dragon? Oh, okay. Sure. Ooh, Ooh, cool. Bad cyber art dragon. too. Whoa. Yeah, bad art. I will take 200. How damage condensed am I? It's probably about 100%, right? 
get stego here that's pretty good i've seen this exact combo from gavin every time i played him in testing <laughs> it's very upsetting hey uh brent what are we banning oh uh, i'm banning DeFi. Fuck yeah, yeah i like that uh i'm thinking about banning uh damage condenser because i don't have any good idea um well please don't, i have one <laughs> <laughs> 1800 either way i am going to pop off my damage condenser and i'm going to discard dimension one. it would also kind no, of like you know cut, it would cut down on editing too right d shield d shield d wow. shield you were like wow. joe we lost to d shield it's all lame and stupid we lost to d shield i can't believe we this. didn't see a single destiny hero out of your deck <laughs> How are we supposed Jesus to? Christ. How are we supposed to get you on D Shield out of those games? Wait, sorry, I, know. I need to do a little bit more thinking. Okay. No, See, okay. this is why I'm, I'm, not... this is why I'm banning Damage Condenser. Ban Damage Condenser simply because it is another card that gives Leah a reason to think. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Rude, right, so but funny. Hmm. Banning any card that uh, requires decision making is format Jinzofication. Just so you're all aware. <laughs> Format it's so funny seeing this board from gavin you you'd never expect all the cards we saw in brent's game <laughs> exactly yeah it's like oh yeah sidra dd survivor of yeah, course he, is, oh, of he course. will never summon lost guardian <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about i'm just playing uh it's just a joe schmo cyber dragon dd <laughs> no bullshit here officer yeah. Majestic Mecha Oka. That's being normal summon. Is this being, a tribute summon? It is using his effect to summon. Majestic yeah. Mecha Oka will hit Cyber Dragon. Black Stego is a hell of a card. Uh, anyone who's yeah. played Speed Duels can tell you this. Stego Control, best deck. Stego Control. Oh, really? Is that the name? Uh, it's a round. <laughs> you can float into it off of a giant <laughs> rat is the... Um, am I getting this right? Am I just... Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Does Black Stego is in a... Te is an attack position. Yes. If, it, if yes. this attack position card is targeted for an attack, change this card to defend. Ah. I see. Yeah, so the dark orange cards have effects. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... You're being kind of mean to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I do want to reiterate, for this week, I'm, I'm all in on Team Gavin. <laughs> oh, me too, shit. Okay, sure. we, can, we gotta do okay. what we gotta do, baby. We gotta do what we gotta do. He goes to defense and then he does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll pop Dimension Wall here. I take it. It's so weird three. seeing everyone on Dimension Wall. Is this card good again? I. It has not performed yet. Cyber Dragon. I don't know what else I would have put. That's the sure. only problem. You yeah, know I, mean? I guess I get that. I'll pay a thousand for Bite Long. Oh, sure. wow, that's a turn. Gavin set cards. They better Could do something. This is 300. Okay. It's 300. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. Well. All right. Well. It's got to be like, uh, it's not that bad. If you make like a saber and walk into the Sidra, it still trades for the board. Yeah. Dimension Wall is weird. I've been like a big Dimension Wall denier mm -hmm. for like weeks. And the more I've seen it played, it's so often we wind up in situations where someone is thinking to themselves, if my opponent owns Dimension Wall, I immediately lose, you know? Speaking of? Okay. Um, Saber Source. Yeah. Uh, attack with Saber Source. This is turned around in not a good way. Well, she she uh, drew more Saber Saber Sources. It's got to be Side like, attack. you can take this one and D-Wall the Bite uh, Lawn. Do I have it? If I if I win, I'll be so happy that I ended the stupid lose loss streak. Trying to play around damage condenser here. I think I I've been trying it. very hard to play around forced back, which is why I summoned the Oka instead of tributing it over Black Stego earlier. Surely forced back would have been used at some point, though, if we had it. Uh, so I have to go 2100. I I mean, I guess I should have. Guess I should have damaged condenser on the saber saurus. So I don't think there's anything I can get. No D, no uh, DeFi in this match at all. Yeah, that's why I, I, I'm not even on DeFi. I was like, it's just not good enough. You can't I, guarantee you have it. I am on DeFi. I, I will just uh, admit I am on it. I in think fact, we saw uh, it. I actually, I actually think in concept I have something cool. But okay. 
Does it have to be an attack? Uh, yeah. It yeah. Does. Attack. Is this? Long? I mean, I literally lost to it, right? Yeah. Have, oh, yeah. you're good. Woo! So I have um, it's a Tyranno Infinity deck. Well, congratulations to Leah on her. This is second of season two, right? Yes. Her second and victory. Also, also my first time winning a game in more than three episodes, if I recall correctly. Wow. That's something. <laughs> Damn. All it took was everyone else playing awful decks. Okay, well, I resent that remark. Uh, Alien uh, yeah, Warrior is a playable card. Uh, uh, Demise was supposed to come back in fashion. Yeah, exactly. That would have been hype. That would have been hype. Well, we've got two individuals yeah, who drew. are uh, unfortunately in the loser's circle, and that is me and Brent. Brent, is there a card you would like removed from the format forever? Goodbye. Dimensional Fissure. Woo! Um, wow. Lost Guardian will truly be fucking lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't believe that. What an what an unfortunate casualty to the Die Fi band. Uh, but my my man DD Survivor is no longer surviving. Yeah. I mean, you can still play him. You can still play him if you want to go in on uh, Herald of the Banished of the. <laughs> Yeah, Banisher of Radiance. Yeah. yeah. He can't be karma cutted. That's what do you true. Think, team? That it's is true. Good. <laughs> well, uh, unfortunately for our uh, more bourgeois individuals, the people who pulled super rares that I didn't, I will be banning damage condenser. All of you who what? have 18 damage condensers Woo! and summon all these monsters from your deck can go eat it. Uh, I didn't pull oh, any, yeah. and I want it gone. Aw, damage condenser is so cool. I understand though; it's quite good. Yeah, it, it. it it is so cool. Um, until it is used against you exactly one time. Uh, this was a this yeah. was a strange episode. I feel like I I talked up a whole bunch of really neat strategies that were in this format, and you know we just we just tempoed them out. I feel nope. like that that just happens from time to time because of the best of one format. But yep. I I do want to say like. Oh, no, no, Leah, My... don't get me wrong. If I had played 100 games against you, I think I would have lost them all. Your deck was crazy. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, so here was, my, here was my game list. It's, I found, in testing, I found something that felt very, very good and consistent. And then I played a bunch of games trying to figure out if the stun list involving D-Hero Defender and D-Heroes was good, and, real, and we decided it wasn't. Gavin came up with the idea of playing... Dinos with Tyranno Infinity, and this deck like does it all, right? Like mm -hmm. you you can summon the Bitelons, you can stall the game with D Shield or with Defender, you can mill them out if you need to, you can go over the top with Tyranno Infinity in really long games, like with Clock Tower or with like D Hero Defender. It just has like everything. And you know, for what it's worth, the D in D Hero does stand for Dino. Ah, <laughs> So uh, okay. some weird stuff for next time. Uh, Mausoleum of the Emperor lives. Clock Tower lives. Karma Cut lives. Cyber Dragon lives. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in here we could still play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, certainly. I'm surprised. Uh, surprised Karma Cut is still around, but uh, I think uh, it, it may be similar in a similar situation. I'm guessing to Chaos Emperor Dragon, where uh, it would really take Brent winning a week for people to be like, well, you know, time for Karma Cut. Yeah. Um, outside of that, what's the next set? Is it, is it the greatest set of all time? Have we finally made it to the greatest set of all time? I don't know. Uh, oh, I don't have the next set pulled up like a dim. The next set is Cyber Dark Impact. We did it! Greatest set Woo! of all time! Woo! Why is this the greatest set of all time? This set sucks ass. <laughs> 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 this is widely regarded by players as one of, if not the worst sets ever printed. I remember at the 2017 Nationals, there was a vendor that had a bucket, a maybe like 90 gallon bucket filled to the brim with cyber dark impact packs they were raffling off for a dollar just awful <laughs> awful set with very little playable cards and i'm very excited to play them all and lose just like i did this week so like okay like it it obviously is like a terrible set but if you look at the list there is one card that immediately jumps out as a complete game changer what is it from this set for limited 
Uh, it's a common. It's one of the best commons ever, I think. Uh, Snipe Hunter's in this set. Ooh. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, that matters a lot. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Yeah, that's huge. Snipe Hunter's in this set. Oh shit. Well, uh, see you next week next when week. we have removal. <laughs> <laughs>